Hi there, this is Daniel Green from the Black Arrows and we're continuing our review of the new Parrot and Affy AI drone. Um, so today we're looking at the photogrammetry side of things. We only have 10 minutes within LinkedIn, so um, I'll do an extended version or I'll cut it into two uh, as we actually have two projects to look at. So we have a, an oblique um, building structure uh, that we surveyed with the uh, Nafi AI but also with the DJI Mavic 2 Pro and then a larger piece of land so it's an estate with around about eight nine buildings on it and it's by the sea by the coast so we have some interesting topography um, that's pulled out of it as well so um, the key thing for me and I, and I believe most of the people that are watching is is you know this drone is great it's new it has some interesting features and designs but when it comes down to brass tacks comes down to the photogrammetry side which my business focuses on um, are there some are there some clear benefits you know the price point is quite high for the prosumer should we call them drones um, so it's like twice the price of the the new Mavic 3 for example um, but it's half the price of the um, like M, uh, M30 that's just come out um, obviously different drones different functionalities um, but when you look at commercial drones you need something that you can rely on in the field you don't have to take lots and lots of backups just in case something that's going to be able to come back to you and something that's going to be able to deliver the result um, and if it can do it faster and better um, that's definitely a pro so we're first we're going to look at this uh, this field this structure so uh, a bigger part this estate with the structures on it so um, yeah, so the, the flights for these, um, I've used the uh, Pix4D Capture app within iOS for the Mavic 2 Pro. Um, I've used that for a good number of years now. It's, it's a solid app. Um, it's f for doing straightforward captures over smaller areas. It's been absolutely fine. And that has a great function called Safe Mode, which allows the drone to pause over the top of a waypoint and take its shot so it's nice and sharp and then it carries on now that does obviously increase the amount of flight time needed to capture something now interestingly with the anafi ai the software it comes with currently the um, free flight uh, three flight seven um, that doesn't have the ability to, to, to either set the speed of the drone or to pause at each waypoint to take a photo. So what I've had to do to try and make this as comparable as possible is to, um, is to not pause the Mavic as that flew and to try and match the speeds as they flew. Um, they're obviously flying separately uh, one after the other. So um, we, we, we can then discuss it as we, as we look at the results. So first we can just look at the flight planning. Um, and if I pull that up, on screen then you will be able to see first the uh, let's have a look that the Pix4D capture both of the uh, both of the flights um, were done with an 80 60 overlap so that's 80 percent overlap between each photo moving forwards and then 60 percent side by side I would traditionally for a site like this I probably would have gone for 75 forwards and maybe 70 to the side but that was what was recommended through the Anafi app so I thought well let's take its recommend and, and see how that goes. So um, they were both flown at 60 meters off the ground um, obviously we can go higher um, but I think for the level of detail I want to pull out on the topography but also the structures in 60, 60 look good. Um, so the flight time for the Mavic was um, over 15 minutes. I think in the end with takeoff from land and so forth, it was around, it was closer to 20 minutes. But with the Anafi, if I pulled that up, um, that was under 10 minutes. Um, and um, that, yeah, that was, that's interesting. That was, a, you know, we're, we're only over a relatively small area. This is about 160 by 200 meter. Um, but that's a really good time saving um, and I'm guessing that was key really to do with um, par partially to do with the speed that the drone was moving I've had to judge the Mavic speed um, but also because of the size of the sensor the amount of ground that it can capture in one photo and that's represented by when we actually look at the number of photos taken it was about 280 from the uh, from the Mavic and about 150 sorry about 250 so about 30 less um, on the Anafi over this sort of um, size project 
it's sort of um, it, it doesn't really have much of an impact when it comes to processing and so forth. Um, but it's interesting to see when you start scaling that up, um, how that would impact time, both in the field, but also in, in uh, capacities and in memory cards needed, but then also in the rest of your workflow when it comes to processing it. So that was an interesting learning from there. Um, with both of those instances, we had the camera tilted around about 70 degrees because I wanted to catch up some of the, catch a, capture some of the vertical elevations of the structures as well. Um, so yeah, so we've got both of those, we've had both of those up to, to kind of see um, see how that flight planning goes. The, the, key, the key points here with regards to the sensor is the GSD, so the ground sampling distance. So with the ANAFI, in the planning software that was given as, um, given as one centimetre per pixel GSD. So that is, each pixel represents around about one centimetre on the ground. Um, which is is a great figure, and I think with the um, with the Mavic that was around about two. Um, it was a probably maybe it's a one eight. Um, so when actually when we look after um, this has been processed and actually look at the reports, so we have here the Anafi report. So if I zoom into that, we can see the average ground sampling distance once it's been processed was actually just excuse me, just under one centimetre, which is really good. Um, and then with the Mavic, that's one and a half centimetres. So, you know, it's, they're not hugely different, um, but it, it was, yeah, it was interesting to see the predicted versus actual um, on that side of things, um, but still very, very tight. Um, I think, again, if you're capturing just more straightforward topography of grounds or big op more open grounds as we kind of do with a lot of estates and farm build um, farm um, estates there you know, two three is fine uh, centimeters per pixel so here we're getting obviously a lot tighter so this is something maybe you would do for a single or multiple residential site um, at that level but yeah interesting to see I'm going to pull into the uh, models I'll put the link below um, so here um, we're, we're using Nira, um, the online platform for very, very high res um, sharing within browser, which is a great platform. It's invite only at the moment, but I, I can share you the link and you can, um, you can view it. Um, so we're looking at around about 150 million uh, polys uh, in this, which basically means, yeah, a lot of detail and we're at gigapixel level of, of textures. So... You should be able to see that behind me now. So that's nicely picked out, great detail. So if you were looking at the point cloud, any point here, um, you're gonna be able to measure between. So nice detail. Again, I'm not working to a specific brief, so there's certainly areas, patches, that if they were key to a client's brief, then then we would have you know, had a slightly different capture strategy and, um, and picked up a bit more detail. So. But yeah, you can see, you know, good, really good level of 3D detail here. So there's the Mavic. So what you'll see here is it looks really similar. And this is something I was really surprised at. So if we pull in at this, this bench here, so this is the Mavic. You can see slightly less warm um, color here. Where is it? Which bench was it? That one. I'll pull it there. So that's the uh, Anafi. That is the. Make sure I got that right. Yeah. That this is the Mavic. And this is the Anafi. I I can't really see much of a visual difference. So I was quite surprised by that because I thought I was going to see like a, a night and day difference. But this is where it gets very interesting. So if I go back to the reports, um, and we look at the number of 3D um, densified points, so the number of, of measurable points within the uh, models created, we actually get to 32 million data points for the Mavic 2 Pro. So it's a really, you know, really good level of detail, uh, level of data, I beg your pardon, to, to be able to measure detail within the models. Um, you know, that's obviously significantly more than you'd get from a traditional topo. Obviously different workflows, different pros and cons, but 
you know, if you're looking at contours and you want to, to really get a good understanding of, of the lay of the land at whatever intervals you want to use, whether that's millimetres or um, half metre or quarter metre or, or, or multimetre, um, you can really get, you know, a, you get a lot of data out of that. So 32 million data points, that's great. But then we look at the ANAFIS reports and we actually get 71 or basically 72 million data points so comfortably over twice the amount of data points so what am i learning from this so that I, but visually it's around about the same it's a bit faster to capture um it's obviously can deal with the rain but when it comes to actually measurable so accuracy but also measurable data there's a lot more data in the result from the anafi ai so if you've got a project where you're going to be taking measurements um, from the point cloud or from the ultra mosaic or so forth, you've got a lot more data to work with. You've got an, an arguably more accuracy within that. Um, so that's really interesting. It's different from what I was expecting to see. But we'll have a look next at the oblique um, result uh, in the next video, and then we can kind of see how that pans out. Well, thank you for continuing to watch. Um, if you want to learn a bit more about what we do, just visit uh, theblackarrows.co.uk um, and keep watching and, and there'll be more videos coming very soon. Thank you.